156 years ago, President Abraham Lincoln launched Nevada into statehood. He fought to make the Silver State official as the country fought a civil war. Everything about this place is battle-born, so it only seems right that bitter rivals UNR and UNLV use brute force to capture the cannon. Oh, there it is. It's been red for two years, made its way home where the desert meets the hills. Also, it's Halloween in Las Vegas. Thanks for not disappointing. Nevada Reno. Their offense did not disappoint either. Carson Strong, deep shot to Romeo Dubs. Romeo, where are well, Romeo in the end zone? 65 yard touchdown, 17 6. <laughs> Tried Shakespeare, just didn't work. Final minutes of the first half. UNLV unleashed an 11 play, 81 yard drive. Capstone by touchdown by Tyleek Collins. But the Wolfpack answered strong to Justin Lockhart, 24 to 12. That was the score after one. UNLV fought, much improved from last week. Max Gillum to Stevie Jenkins, making it a one-score game in the third quarter. And then the pack marched back all the way down the field to the promised land. Touchdown 37-19. The cannon is going north. Kevin E. Martin was at Allegiant Stadium and saw an improved UNLV team fall to high-powered Nevada Reno. Good evening, Kevin. E. Well, good evening, John. Yes, as you mentioned, UNLV falls 37-19 to UNR in their first ever game here at Allegiant Stadium. Of course, the Fremont Cannon now heading up to Reno now after two years here in Las Vegas. And really, as we just saw in those highlights, UNLV had no answer for Reno's passing game. Carson is strong, throwing for 350 yards and two touchdowns. The Rebels also committing 10 penalties for 77 yards. You're not going to win any games. Marcus Arroyo will definitely have to address that issue and clean that up in the future. But my biggest takeaway tonight was there were so many questions heading into this one around the quarterback position. And we got our answer tonight. Max Gillum stepped in. He looked confident. He looked poised, throwing for 207 yards and two touchdowns. Very impressed with the seniors play here today and giving the fans something to cheer about. The few that were in attendance, 2,000 as we mentioned earlier. Now the Rebels fall to 0-2 on the season for the first time since 2015. Next up for the Rebels, they'll host Fresno State next Saturday here at Allegiant Stadium. And speaking of those fans, now Orko Mana is standing by and he spoke with a few of the fans that had the pleasure of seeing Allegiant Stadium for the first time and watching the Rebels here tonight. Hey, Orko. Well, Kevin, what a historic night. This is the first time that football fans could be here inside Allegiant Stadium. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, only about 2,000 of the 65,000 seats were filled. And even though that's the case, even though the Rebels lost, UNLV fans tell us they were just thrilled to be here. It was really pretty neat. It, it didn't seem like you're in Las Vegas. It seemed like we went out of town to go see a pro football game or something. It's a beautiful, just a beautiful stadium. It was more amazing than I thought it would be. It was really first class and it, it, right up there with Vegas. From what I saw, it was about the safest place I've been in the last eight months. You heard it there, people feeling safe. Definitely a fun night for everyone. Some fans we spoke to actually said that they hope that the capacity limit will be even more. So we'll see if that changes in the future. But really, a really exciting night for football fans here at Allegiant Stadium. John, we're going to toss it back to you in the studio. Thanks so much. And yeah, everybody there was just happy to be at a football game, a live sporting event. For some, it's the first time in about seven months.